Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. I'm a motion designer. And in this video, we're going to take a look at adding transitions to our footage inside Premiere Pro and adjusting them to our needs. Now, like effects, transitions can be used to create a more engaging story. You can use them to highlight the differences or the similarities between two shots or just to create more interest between the scenes. We have a sequence of three clips in our timeline and we are in the effects workspace. In the effects panel over on the right, we can see that there are folders for video transitions and audio transitions. Both work similarly, but let's focus on video transitions. Let's open that up where we'll see multiple categories. And let's open up the dissolve category. A dissolve is essentially a fade and the cross dissolve is the most commonly used. So let's choose that. And let's also zoom in a little bit more around the cut between our first and our second clip. And now we're gonna get a better look at what's happening when we apply our transition. With our transition selected, let's drag that on top of our timeline. And when we drag it on top of our footage, we get a highlight over our clips and some icons around our cursor that tell us how the transition will be applied. We get nothing when we place it over the middle of our clip because we can't place the transition in the middle. It has to be at a cut point. And when we're directly over our cut, our highlight is equally across both of our clips. If we move our cursor a bit to the left, it is over the end of our first clip. And if we move it over a bit to the right, over the start of our second clip. And when we release our mouse click, this is where it will place our transition. Most of the time we want it in the middle. So let's just place it over the center and release. That adds cross dissolve to this cut. And now half of the transition will appear before the cut and half after. And this graphic shows the duration of the transition. It's important to note that a transition will reveal more of your clips than just a straight cut. Before we applied this transition, this cut happened around the 10 second mark. So we saw about 10 seconds of our first clip of our farmer viewed over the shoulder. But now we see a more faded out version of that footage extending for about half a second after that cut point. And we get more visibility on our second clip as well, about half a second before that cut point. So we're getting just a bit more of each clip during this transitional stage. So it's good to check that there's nothing in that footage that you didn't want to reveal. Like maybe you cut deliberately before an actor looked at the camera or a microphone got in shot or something like that. Doesn't look like any of that's happening here, so we should be okay. This also means that to apply a transition, you must have handles to your footage, extra footage that extends beyond the cut. If we scroll over to our third clip, we can see that there is no handles between our second and our third clip because of this triangle here. We know that that clip starts or ends here. If we were to move these apart, we couldn't extend these any further because that is where our clip ends. We just run out of footage. So let's move our third clip over clip two so it starts earlier and that trims the end of our second clip. Now we can see our triangle is only visible on clip three because now on clip two, we have about two seconds of handle that we could extend out if we wanted to. Now, if we drag our transition over, we can only apply it to the right side of this cut, not on the left side on clip two, because this is the only place that we have overlapping footage. So let's apply that here. Now, if we select our transition just by clicking on it, we can now see we've got some more options over here in our effects control window. And we can visualize this a bit clearer. This mimics our timeline and we can see just how much of a handle we have left on footage two. Let's go back to the first transition we applied and select that. There we can see we've got lots of handles on either side. Let's zoom in a bit more on our timeline. Now at the moment, this cross dissolve is taking a second, but if we want to extend that and have a slower cut, all we need to do is select it in our timeline, move our cursor to either end of it and drag it out. This will extend it equally on both sides. If we hold shift and extend it out, it will only do it on one side. And we can also select and drag our transition forwards and backwards. We can also make those adjustments here in the effects control panel, which might be easier for you to visualize. A cross dissolve doesn't have many parameters. So let's remove that transition by selecting it in the timeline and hitting delete. And now let's add a different transition, a wipe. Let's choose barn doors. Now we've got our second clip opening up from the middle. And if we click on that transition, we've got a lot more options where we can change. We can add a border or change the direction of the transition. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've learned how transitions work in Premiere Pro and how to adjust them to suit our needs. Please check out the rest of this series all about effects in Premiere Pro.